Hi, I'm Matt Nichols of MrMaple.com. Today we're going to be talking about a really fun dwarf Japanese maple, Acer Palmatum Japanese Princess. And I'm Tim at MrMaple.com. We greatly appreciate you watching our videos. Please like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and sign up for our weekly emails on MrMaple.com. Now you may have saw our video on Makawi Yatsubusa. Today we're going to be talking about probably the most popular offspring from Makawi Yatsubusa, the Acer Palmatum Japanese Princess. So this was found as a seedling off of Makawa with some amazing traits. This one leaves out in the early spring a bright, bright pink color. If you put this one in full sun, it even gets brighter pink. So this one does vary a little bit from sun to shade. In heavy sun, this one's going to be a neon bright pink. In shade, it's going to be a light, creamy white with soft pink new growth. Really fun new growth as it goes throughout the seasons. Midsummer, what you're going to continue to see is blonder, older growth with highlights of pink all over that, with that small, interesting shape. And then a really bold red orange in the fall, too. Yeah, some really great photos of that. You can check some of those photos out on MrMaple.com. Just go to Mr. Maple and look through those photos there. And we, if you wait to the end of this video, we'll actually have some of those at the very end of this video as well, so you can see some of that at the very end. Uh, Makawi Atsubusa is one of people's favorite Japanese maples, and Japanese Princess is a Makawi Atsubusa with color. It's amazing. It has a tightly layering habit, a very, very tight, dense habit, and it typically will end up getting about three to four feet tall by about three to four foot wide in about 10 to 12 years. This is a great compact dwarf for so many uses. You may have heard me say this before, but this one's a great one for container gardening. That really small size, it's one of the smallest Japanese maples that we, we grow. And so this one makes a really great option for a small patio planter or container garden. It makes a great accent for a small area in a conifer garden. So you're looking for a splash of color, you want some deciduous spark right there in that conifer garden. Japanese Princess is a great version for that because it's a true miniature Japanese maple for sure. And so it has a lot of awesome uses. I like to pair this one in the garden with obviously all the other cool forms of Makawi Yatsubusa. You might have saw our video on that. But there's a lot of great ways to pair this texture-wise with other Japanese maples. I really like this one next to Kurunajishi. Uh, so you'll see that in the garden quite a bit. It makes a really nice splash off of that. It also does great in conifer beds. Whenever you give it a lot of color and a different texture in a conifer garden with some spring color, some fall color, great container plant, a lot of really great uses. This tree was found as a chance seedling, as Matt said, of Makawi Etibusa by one of our good friends and mentors, Talon Buckholtz. He selected this tree and said, wow, check out this pink color, and eventually it became Japanese Princess. Let's take an up-close look at some of the spring foliage. We're almost in late April now, so let's take a look at what it looks like now up close, and uh, we'll show you a little bit more what this tree is f popular for. So here you can see the up-close look at the leaves of Acer Palmatum Japanese Princess just has that pink, pink overlay still of that flush of growth in the spring. As Matt said here, we're here in late April. These trees have actually been in heavy shade, so you can kind of see that, that characteristic. In the ground in full sun, this tree does leaf out a really, really bold pink as well. A lot of cool textures. I love the ruffled edges that Japanese Princess has to it. I think it gives it a very elegant look, and it sets it apart from many of the other uh, Makawi Etsubusa offspring, that ruffled kind of frilly edge that kind of just makes it look a little more regal in every, every single foliage. Yeah, this is a beautiful tree that's really going to add a lot of color, a lot of texture, in a very dense, compact manner. So thanks for watching our quick look at Acer Palmatum Japanese Princess, a really fun dwarf Japanese maple for the garden, and it makes a great container plant as well. And here you'll see our six gallon sizes of Acer Palmatum Japanese Princess. We decided to pick them up just to show you what their six gallon sizes look like. We greatly appreciate you watching our video. This is going to be a tree that you're going to really, really enjoy, give you a lot of color. That's going to look well in the landscape, garden, containers, and containers are a great way just to extend that garden out further to your patio, your pools, your deck, and really a great way to grow Japanese maples. Hey, please like and subscribe. Comment your favorite uh, dwarf Japanese maple in the comments below. We greatly appreciate all your uh, suggestions in the comments as well. And please continue to share our channel with all of your gardening friends. That's the best way this channel can grow. And uh, we have a lot of fun things planned for you as this, uh, this channel continues to grow as well. Hey, we greatly appreciate you. Take care and God bless. These are pretty big.
and a few even larger. 